Conceive, believe, achieve. This is former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Michael Bisping. Paddy the Baddy here. You're listening to Combat Sports UK. And you're watching Combat Sports UK. Hello, I'm Scott Bogey from Combat Sports UK, here with Ryan Campbell ahead of his fight against Sharam Hotek. How are you doing today? Good, man. Thank you very much. How about yourself? I'm doing good. And how are you, how you feeling ahead of this fight on the 7th of September? Obviously, it's your Cage Warriors debut. Any nerves? I mean, there's there's always a little bit of uh, some kind of feeling ahead of a ahead of a big fight. Do you know what I mean? But more than anything, I would say I'm excited, excited and just prepared. And do you feel like this is the correct time to have this fight? You're now ready. You're ready to showcase your abilities. Definitely, definitely, man. I've been been in the game ten years now. You know, so I feel like the timing's pretty. It's spot on. Time time um, to shine, mate. <laughs> exactly. And what was it that got you into the cage the first time? The first time, do you know? To be honest, since I was since I was a kid, since I was a wee guy, I used to like go down the park with my pals and we just just to <laughs> <laughs> have a bit of a punch up, you know, just amongst friends and yeah. that. I've always I've always watched the UFC and just kind of always wanted to do it, but I don't know. I was just curious, I suppose, curious to see what it was like. You know, that's what that's what got me into it. And do you feel like that's kind of going to be the atmosphere in this fight? Obviously, it is Cage Warrior 176. It is in your home country, Scotland. It got a lot of your guys in the gym that are going to be fighting at the event as well. Does that make it yep. any easier? Easier? I mean, every a fight's a fight at the end of the day, yeah. but it definitely feels kind of feels like a home show, I would say. It is in, it's in our backyard, but just a lot of familiar faces on the card, not even just the boys from our gym. Like we've got five guys, okay, five guys, including myself, um, on the show. But there's like the guys for the other gyms, like higher level and stuff. So it feels like a home show. Do you know what I mean? So it yeah. doesn't feel unfamiliar. And how has the training camp been for this fight so far? It's been good. It's, I, I must say, it's like you obviously you get your niggles and you're not always feeling a hundred percent every session. But like it's the best I've ever felt. It's the fittest and strongest I've felt, and yeah, I'm definitely I'm confident in. I feel I'm feeling good. And in your last fight, it was a decision victory against Oscar Shamil. How was that fight for you? Um well I feel like if you if you ever watched the fight back, it was uh, three three rounds I kind of dominated in the grappling. Um I would have liked to let my hands go a little bit more. Do you know it was just the, the first day yeah. uh, first pro debut one to you get the get the win. I knew Oscar had like good striking, had a striking background, boxing and tie boxing. So um took the path of least resistance, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um instead of fighting fire with fire like be like water, do you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> aye. And starting at your beginning of your career, you did go one win, two defeats. Was there any? Did you know that you still wanted to continue, or was there any doubts? Mm, um, is, are you talking about my amateur career? Yeah. Yep. Um. So, do you know what it was? I was I was a bit mm, blissfully ignorant. I would say, like, ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just I didn't enjoy grappling at the start. To be <laughs> honest, I wanted to strike. I thought. A bit of striking and a bit of wrestling defense, and you're golden. But quickly realised that <laughs> you need to be, um, you need to be talented in every area. So that, that's yeah. those those defeats kind of made me the fighter I am, you know. Exactly. And since that second defeat, you have gone on a five fight winning streak. This will be hopefully the sixth as well. Was there anything to do with the weight difference? I know in those first three, it was at featherweight. This is lightweight. Was there anything to do with the weight? Mm. There is definitely something to that. Obviously, I was a, I was that's ten years ago. I was a bit younger, and the weight was maybe a bit easier. And um, so the first two fights it was okay, but then um, I started hitting a stage where as as I developed and kind of like put on size and kind of grew in from like a teenager to a man. And um, featherweight was kind of killing me to be honest. To make that, so the transition to lightweight, as you can see from my, my record speech to the cell, like yeah. I'm undefeated at lightweight. Um, I feel like that's that's where I that's where I need to be. I feel my best at, at seventy uh, on Friday. And, and is this a multi fight deal that you signed with Keith Warriors? It is indeed, mate. It is. It's a five fight uh, deal, five fight contract. And do you feel like that gives you any more security going into this fight, knowing that even if it does go wrong, you still have these other fights at, to showcase your skills. Mm. Well, I suppose that's one way to look at it. Do you know that's kind of like a, a safety net? But that's not the way. That's not the way I'm viewing it. It's like each fight, you live and die in your last fight, and I'm totally focused on the one in front of me. So, aye, 
I'm treating this like it is a, a one fight contract. You know, what I mean, there's no looking past this yeah. for me. And then obviously with Kate Wars, there are still some events after this one to go before the end of the year. As long as all goes well, when do you think you'll come back? Oh, I'm looking to be active. I'm looking to be active. That's a good thing about a promotion like Cage Warriors. It's like they've they've got a large pool of fighters. So I, as soon as this one's done, man, I'm looking to, you know, when's the next show? Get get me back out. Do you know what I mean? If I'm uninjured or whatever and I'm healthy, then let's go again. Let's, let's get me back in. You'll be pushing for a short notice fight on September 21st in Manchester. <laughs> hey, <laughs> man, if there's a fight there, get me on it. I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> And obviously it is in your um, background, like we were saying. How does that feel? Do you feel like it is the perfect chance to make that debut? 100%. 100%. It's like the, it's the icing on the cake to, to do it in Glasgow in front of the, the home crowd. Um, I've, just, I've envisioned, the, envisioned the fight, you know what I mean? I, I can just picture the crowd go, it's electric, you know what I mean? And I, and I feed off the energy from a crowd, so yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a special night. Were you there last time the Cave Wars were in Glasgow? I was indeed, mate. I was in the corner for a few of my teammates. I was in the corner with uh, Igor and Jordan. And um, I, I, I was, I feel like I manifested it. Do you know what I mean? I knew that was, yeah. it was in touching distance and seeing my teammates out there. It was like, it's, I felt like it was close. You know what I mean? And obviously now I, I get my, my shot at it. So, aye. And like you're saying, you were in the corner. So do you feel like you kind of have an idea of how the atmosphere is going to be? You have seen it with your teammates, so you know how the crowd is, you know how lively we are. Yep, exactly, exactly that, mate. It's, it's quite beneficial, you know, I got a chance to experience that, so I, I kind of know what I'm what I'm in for. Um, aye, so that was, that, was quite a, that was quite a good thing, to see the crowd. I'm, obviously, I'm walking out with the fighters and stuff and my teammates yeah. make the walk to the cage, cage side, hear the noise and the atmosphere, and it's a special, it's brilliant. And then, obviously, with Cade Warriors, one of the benefits of them, it is on UFC Fight Pass. Did you feel like with that, it helps you get your name out there, gives you a bit more exposure? Definitely, that's that. And that is the word that is. You, it's, um, it's the exposure you're kind of looking for. Do you know what I mean? There's going to be thousands of people at, at the event. I don't know, thousands of watching it at home, do you know what I mean, through UFC Fight Pass. So, gets your name out there, gets the eyes on you, and that's, that's what you want. Do you know what I mean? And... How does it feel knowing that you now have made it into the what is being recognised as Europe's biggest promotion? Also, it is a massive feeder to the UFC as well. How do you feel about that? It's, it's a dream come true. Do you know what I mean? For years, obviously, um, you've got a, a who's who and names who have come through. Cage Warriors, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like your McGregors, your Paddy Pimlets, Ila Tapuria, all these type like Tom Aspinall. Do you know what I mean? You could The list goes on. So, to... To have a chance to get into a promotion like that and make a name for myself, it's aye, it's a dream come true. Exactly. And I know you said you want to get back into that cage as soon as possible. Do you have an opponent in mind? Like, Is there anyone you are wanting to fight or are you literally just give me anyone? If, give me anyone, man. I sit, as I said before, it's like I want to be active. I want to get in there as quickly as possible, but I'm, I'm not looking past... Shara, do you know what I mean? The next yeah. fight, this is tunnel vision towards that. And then once that's done, we can look at something else. But aye, activity is what, what I'm after. And what would you do if they did give you someone who was in the same gym as you? Would you just decline it because of that same gym or would you at least talk about it? It's in to fight in a, to my opponent to be from my, my gym? Yeah. Ah, uh, no way, man. No way. That's it's like a brotherhood. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah. not even, it's not even an aye. Not even a question, do you know what I mean? No, no. And how do you feel, like, what is the atmosphere at the Scottish Hill squad? Like, how has, one, how has it benefited your your game? And how do, how is the atmosphere? Are you guys all excited to get ready into that cage? Of course, of course. Like you like touched on earlier, do you know what I mean? There's five of us preparing for this, so the, the atmosphere in the gym is, is the best it's ever going to be. See, when you're all, like, working towards the same goal, the same yeah. event, it's... It doesn't get much better than that. And that that in itself kind of makes it a little bit more special than just what it is, is that you're preparing with your team to, to go out and steal the shows, you know what I mean? So, aye, it's, it's amazing, amazing feeling in the gym, right? And do you feel like with all you guys having a fight, it makes the training even, even better for your development because you're all trying to get in that peak shape and get ready 100% for the fight? 
Oh, 100%. As I said, we're all hungry. Do you know, we're all pushing towards the same goal, um, pushing each other. Iron sharpens iron, as they say. <laughs> it may be a cliche, but, it, but it's true, do you know. So, uh, it's, it's definitely beneficial when you've all, especially on the same show, the same date, um, all peaking together and working hard. So, I. And what have you seen from Sharam that, how do you feel like he's going to try and get, get this fight? So, obviously, I've watched a bit of footage on him. Um, I feel like he's explosive. He's a bit, um, bit reckless, kind of in your face. He's looking to strike and he's just like a scrappy fighter. Which is exciting, do you know what I mean? I think it's going to be a fast paced fight and it's definitely it's gonna be if you're in the crowd, it's gonna be an enjoyable one. Um from the first bell, I think it's gonna be like we'll be exchanging on the feet and it's gonna be exciting. So I know it's, it's he's an exciting fighter and it's an exciting fight for me and it's definitely one of them that gets you gets you up and ready to go. So yeah. And like you're saying, you've watched footage on him. How much do you value the tape study? Do you just watch it on your opponent or do you watch it on yourself as well? I do. I do watch it on myself as well, but I feel like I kind of leave that to my coach. Do you know what I mean? He'll give me pointers yeah. and talk me through. But I have myself watched a bit of him just to see, you know what I mean? I don't dive too much into it because I like to focus on what I'm going to do as well. Get a rough idea, right? I see a few things. This is what, right? I understand what type of fighter he is. But on the night, do you know what I mean? It's MMA. You expect anything. Do you know It's unpredictable. Yeah. So that, And that's why people love to watch it. So. You just you prepare for for any scenario, and obviously you don't want to prepare too much, and then you're overthinking it either. That's that's also a point. Yep, if you focus too much on your, what your opponent's going to do, it can make you kind of second guess yourself, and you, you you just can't afford to to do that in MMA. You know what I mean? You need to fire, <laughs> aim and fire. So, aye. and do you have any rituals or anything that you do either on fight week or on fight night? Um, any rituals? No, not really, man. I'm not one for that. You know what I mean? Like some people put their fucking their left glove on and then, you know, <laughs> that's like do for five paces around the mat. That's not for me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Just warm up my team, do what I do and I get ready. And how do you feel like the weigh-ins are? Like how important do you think that is? Do you think that's the first battle? Because obviously you get a weigh-in, you get on the scale, you made weight and then you have that first face-off the first chance you can actually see them up close. 100%. For me anyway, I feel like that is a bit, it's a bit of mental warfare. It's a little bit of a mental battle there. It's the first time you're really going to size up your opponent, look him in his eyes and see if he's yeah. like, is he, is he confident? Is there is there any fear there? Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I, I, I enjoy that part of it because you can see like the mentality and how ready he is. And I, it's, it's, <laughs> I think you can make a break somebody and I, and, and I stare off. Do you know what I mean? You see a little bit of weakness. Like, right, yeah, here we go. I've, I've got him here. <laughs> and how are you with the smack talk? <laughs> so honestly, I'm not. I'm not one for like, talking too much smack. Do you know what I mean? I'll do my talking yeah. on on the night in the cage, but um, I welcome it. Do you know what I mean? If that's if that's what it is, it, that's how it goes. <laughs> but for myself, I I do my talking on the night. And what has been the biggest? I want to say like surprise opponents given you in the ring. Speaking to some fighters, they said that sometimes in the ring the opponent has talk to them and that they're they're chatting smack even in the cage while they're fighting what's been the biggest surprise for you for me personally I've, I've never had somebody speak to me in a fight like give me any give me any chat i, said, I think sharam's into a bit of this like at least they talk a wee bit and i, yeah. I welcome it do you know what i mean if you're going to spur me <laughs> on even more excellent let's do it and have you been trying to prepare for that or are you going to take it on the night i'll take it on the night do you know what i mean that's not it's not a major thing if it if it He's want to chat about shit in the case yeah. and that's, that's what it is. Do you know what I mean? It's not a major thing. And what do you feel like has been your most, your best fight so far? My best fight? Yeah. Mm, that's a good question. Um, My best performance, honestly, I would say I had a fight against a boy Lorenzo a few years ago. He's a very, very skilled fighter. I think he's fighting yeah. in PFL. Um, and it was one of them. It was a home show. It was on Hollytown Havoc and I felt just, just one of the days um, as any fighter will understand, I just felt like I had a flow. I was I had my rhythm and my shots were loose, and I thought pro probably my fight against Lorenzo was one of my best. I would say, just purely because of how I felt on the night. Yeah. And with your last fight, that was your pro debut. Do you feel like obviously you're from amateur to pro? Do you feel like you were restarting your career at that point, or do you feel like that amateur career, even though it's not on the record, it is still in there? 
I, th- I think so. Do you know what? Yeah, it is a re. It is a, technically the start of your your professional career. It is it literally is, but I feel like it was just a continuation of. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the fights, yeah. and um, you're just carrying on the momentum. To be honest, but yeah, I think a continuation in, of my form. And how was it to be able to start to work in the elbow, start to work in the knees? Were you still like practicing them beforehand? Oh, definitely. I know. I was, I was excited. Um, <laughs> in my post fight interview for my pro debut, I was talking about that, like how I was just excited to like take my elbow off his head, like yeah. <laughs> just just because of the rule set. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Every, you know, to let everything go. So, obviously, as soon as I was getting in, I was I was looking to to land some some elbows. Um, aye, aye, it was it was exciting, mate, just to let it all fly. Aye. Well, I wish you the best of luck for your fight. It'll be fantastic. Make sure you grab tickets if you are in the Glasgow area on the seventh of September. It will be a night you cannot forget. I'm gonna give you the final word. Anyone you're wanting to shout out. Just shout out to all my all my teammates, my coach Brian. Do you know what I mean? All the boys know who they are. Um, my family for all the help and um, bye. Just uh, tune in seventh September. Let's let's do this, man. It's going to be an exciting night for the uh, for Scottish MMA and don't miss out because it's going to be electric. Let's do this, man. Exactly. Make sure you get your tickets.